Hello Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into your current energy reading. We're going to be having a look at what's coming up around you, what the tarot deck can predict, what's coming up around you emotionally and in your relationships, as well as your relationships with your loved ones, okay, your person of interest, your lover, the one you're courting, dating, wanting to date, wanting to get back with. So this can be for earth energy um, but also if you're dealing with a sign that is an earth sign this reading can be for you so definitely it will apply to the cross watchers um, watching this uh, video so let's have a look okay there's news coming in news about the long-term future about the distant future You've been waiting for this for quite some time, Earth signs, the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant has come up reversed. So I want to say because it's ruled by Taurus, Taurus has come up. We've got Taurus and Aries. So some of you may be dealing with one of these signs. There may be a message coming up, but it's not going to be as romantic as you expected. I want to say that romanticism or respect is somehow limited in this message. And you might be slightly disappointed with the results, but the message is going to be very illuminating because you have the sun. So it's going to illuminate how someone really, truly feels really interesting. So there's the communication that's coming in. There's news communication. So this is about a message or about the long term future. I'm getting a sense that it's a bit of a bombshell that someone's going to lay out on you and it's not what you expected Earth signs. Um, could be someone new, someone you're dealing with. I want to say this person has been a presence in your life before, so you're familiar with them. You know this person. You're either still hung up about them or they're, they're still hung up about you. They miss you. They want to be in touch. Um, don't be disappointed just yet. Because I want to say if that person is trying to connect they could be in some sort of energy where they're sort of testing the waters with you. So if it's not the romantic gesture or the, the kind of message, you know, if you're waiting for them to ask you out on a date or you're waiting for them to say, I miss you, I love you, I want you back, or, you know, you're waiting for this. I feel like you're waiting for something deeply romantic or respectful to come. And not that the message is going to be disrespectful. I just feel like someone's, you know, the sun can be immaturity. I would say it's more immaturity when it's reversed. It's actually come up upright. I, so I'm leaning more towards not immaturity. I'm leaning more towards that um, this person who the message is coming from, or if the message is coming from your side, Earth signs, um, I'm getting the vibe that with the sun card, it's... Um, Yeah, with with the sun card, I'm getting a vibe that it's it's this um someone testing the waters or being in an early stage of something because the child is infant infantile, it doesn't know any better. So yes, maybe pointing to immaturity, but I think more than that, it's pointing to something being in its early stages or someone wanting to dip dip their toes in. Um it's somehow connected to the long-term future, though, I feel, with the Three of Wands. It could be someone from further, repeat, uh, from further afield that's trying to connect with you, like a long-distance lover, someone you haven't heard from in a very long time. It's almost like he's wondering, he's, he's looking out. You've been either waiting for this person, you've been looking out, you, or even maybe you've thought about them in the last few months or weeks or days, and then suddenly they pop up. It's, it's a message of synchronicity. I always get synchronicity. Um, with these sorts of things so it's something you've been wondering about you've been curious about you've been thinking and dwelling on and then suddenly it's sort of going to pop up and, and, and you'll want to know more I want to say it's an enlightening period which is good okay the sun card it can be new beginnings um, it can be someone you've had children with it can be someone you've divorced with it can even be a child reaching out but because this is more romantic I feel like with the sun card it says something about the self, okay? There's either a selfish move or a selfish motive that needs to happen here. So Earth signs, you've probably given someone a lot, okay? You've given a lot of yourself. You've given a lot of your energy, your time um, to a person, to a connection. 
And then, you know, what we're seeing here with the Sun card is that there's a message here that it's time to be selfish. We all need to do this at least at one stage or another in a connection. So if it's coming up here, there may be a message for Earth signs. For those of you watching that haven't been, you've been neglecting your personal romantic needs for the needs of another person. And you've drained yourself for others. You know, you've, you're the hangman here for some of you. And, you know, golly gosh, it's not a nice position to be in at all. You know, you've exhausted your resources. And there's someone here who might not even be appreciative of, of, of what's going on here. I know I'm a little bit all over the place in this reading, but I just feel like there's so many different themes that are coming up. But I do want to say there's a message here to be selfish. Put your needs, your wants, your romantic desires first. Because I feel like with the hangman, it's sitting in the middle of the reading. So there's obviously there's an emphasis here of what's what's at the root of the issue or the problem right now. For some, not for all. But I feel like, you know, you're either self-criticizing yourself going, oh my God, I do this for this person and it's still not enough. Or I do X, Y, and Z and still nothing's happening. So it could be this or... What I'm seeing with the hangman here is that you can't punish yourself forever. You're either punishing yourself by withdrawing from yourself, you know, not connecting to self. Uh, maybe you're withdrawing from this person, you're withdrawing from the relationship, or maybe they're doing this to you. You know, they're giving you the silent treatment. They're making you feel like the hangman. Like I said, things are coming to light. So watch carefully with everything that's going on because it's going to make sense. It's putting things, the universe is trying to illuminate things for you right now. So, so take heed of people's words, people's actions, because it's telling you something. Um, always pay attention to the action. Okay, words are nice and they're comforting. If they're supported by action, then great. The sun is activity or inactivity, action, proactivity. And this is what you need to pay attention. This is what the current energies are telling you to pay attention. This, this person's actions speak louder than words. And I feel like, you know, it's such an old school quote. Sometimes we forget, but I feel like the action is what you need to pay attention to. And the action or lack thereof is what you need to go by. So use that judgment based on someone's actions or even based on your own actions, what you want to do. Because essentially it's telling you where you're at, why you've got this reversal. Let's look at the root of the problem here. Why you want to do something or why you don't want to do something speaks volumes of how you truly feel. And it very well could be the subconscious that's talking and illuminating this to you. Um, you know, so so take note of these things, Earth signs, because I feel like they're crucial to what's happening in the current energies um, right now. Um, look, I will leave it at that, Earth Signs. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please be in touch if you'd like a private reading with me. Otherwise, I really do appreciate you um, supporting the channel with like, share, and subscribes. Um, hopefully, we shall be in touch very soon. So thank you again, everyone, and bye for now.